Well, hello. My name's John Henry, and I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, what we can do during this period of uh, time when travel is difficult or impossible, and how we can uh, still continue to be lifelong learners, which we normally do through travel and learning the history of other areas. Why not take uh, a little time uh, this year in this, this fall to learn about uh, our own town's history and the importance of, uh, of what happened here in the, uh, in the early 20th century. So I'm standing in front of the uh, Stockman House, which was built in 1908, and I'm going to be presenting a lecture uh, on Tuesday, November 3rd at 3.15 in the Architectural Interpretive Center, which is just north of the Stockman House. The lecture I'm presenting is called The Significance of the Stockman House as a Challenger to the Prevalent Four-Square Homes. And uh, we'll talk about uh, the elements of the Stockman House that carried forward into other designs by Wright and other architects and uh, what influence it had on the architecture of the early 20th century, early to mid. Sorry about the traffic. <laughs> the whole lecture series is five lectures that all will be presented at the Interpretive Center, but all, and they deal with uh, rights, designs, and history up to 1908. The second lecture is uh, the one about the Stockman House and its influence. Uh, the third two lectures are on the, the uh, Historic Park Inn, the original building and the uh, uh, renovations and uh, restorations that were done uh, in, uh, to open in, 19, in uh, 2011. Uh, and finally, uh, the fifth lecture is about uh, the other Prairie School influenced and Prairie School design uh, homes and buildings within the, what we call the Cultural Crescent here in Mason City. So I urge you to sign up for that whole series. Of course, I'd like you to come to my lecture and uh, learn a little bit more about uh, Mason City's history and basically how it influenced a great deal of architectural history in the uh, early to mid 20th century.